Okay, and welcome back to Let's Play Tony Hawk's Pro Skater 4. When we last left off, we were doing this pro combo goal with Larry. Seems to me like he just gave up on it. So here's Bam to finish it off. I picked Bam because, once again, there's more pro goals to collect. So, or not to collect, uh, there's more pro goals to do. So we're going to have to do those. So I figured might as well get Bams out of the way next because his is also an Alcatraz and it also happens to be right here. So let's see what this is all about. Shopping cart slam, Bam Margera. Whether it's on the big screen or in one of his homebrew CKY movies, Bam's one seriously messed up dude. Fat suits, tree smashing, jumping off buildings, medieval jousting, it's all in a day's work for Bam. Welcome to the Shopping Cart Olympics. Now in five minutes, you've got to pass all three trials of Shopping Cart Ski. Race, hurdles, and slalom. Now let's see what you got, man. Well, this isn't based off of a popular early 2000s TV show at all. So anyway, um, basically what you have to do is go down these switchbacks in a shopping cart and you get in, you get an incredible amount of speed, and you're supposed to just jump off at the end. There we go. But now we're gonna they're gonna give us the hurdles. So basically, somehow Bam is able to b jump off of his shopping cart, and that's not gonna do it. I know that actually. Wow, I'm so I'm very surprised I didn't crash and bail. Usually when you do that, okay, never mind. It just told me that I can't cheat. This is one of the harder pro goals to get used to. Because there's nothing like shopping cart racing in the game. So when you, by the time you get here, you're all like, Whoa, what the hell am I supposed to do? And I can't go in there. Okay, it's, don't tell me I'm cheating again, because I'm not. Okay. Uh, the final stretch. I guess I'm gonna have to go in here, and here we go! That counted into a 540 cart air. Now we have to go through here, so it's gonna give us a bunch of fences. You're gonna have to go back and forth. It's kind of tricky because you get an incredible amount of speed, and you can't really uh, slow yourself down. You can't go off the half pipes because if you do, you're just gonna crash as soon as you come down. So basically, you need fast reflexes, and also I think you need to go inside that tunnel. But you can't do it because you're going so fast, by the time you get there, you basically have no time... How did I, how did I miss that? By the time you get there, you basically have no time to uh, see where the tunnel is, and you just have to basically guess. Make a guess, and hopefully you'll be able to make it in. So, as you can tell, I'm getting an incredible amount of speed. Who what, who could they possibly get to do this goal? Why, of course, it's Bam Margera. And I like how this has nothing to do with skating. Alright, I wonder how long this is actually going to take me, because I remember this being an extremely hard one. Of the non-skating variety anyway so anyway let's try and make it in there okay that'll do it but I bailed at the last second I think once you pat once you get past that tunnel you might be home free I can't remember so anyway let's try it again so yeah uh, I'm surprised whose idea was this I'm surprised they let I'm surprised they let us set up these things and or maybe they didn't let us set these up but then again where are the where are all the security guards hey you all quite obviously can't be riding a shopping cart at 50 miles an hour through everything here and I hit those rails I think I was just about to finish it's one of those things where you gotta you're gonna get a little farther every time you try it because you don't know what on earth is ahead of you until you actually get there. Okay, let's try and do this the right way this time. That'll do it. I'm happy that I got that one out of the way. 
Don't want to save now. Let's see what BAM's movie has to offer us. It's mostly driving, I guess. No, I'd like to actually see him do something. Okay, I have no idea what he's doing. It's not cicading, that's for sure. That's all we're going to watch of that. Back to Alcatraz, and we might as well use Bam to do a couple more goals. We have... There's one on the roof. Let's check it out. And if we see any on the way, I guess we'll check those out as well. Okay, moving on up. We're going to go up here. Looking for all the goals we can find on our way to the roof. Since I don't see any, we're just going to go straight up here. So, this is Lisa Steamer. What do you have to say? Because from up here, you should be able to rack up some killer points. Try to get this six score. Yes, from up here, you are definitely going to get a lot of points. In fact, when Tony Hawk's Pro Skater 4 first came out, I remember uh, people were getting, like, really high combos up on this roof. And some people were all like, well, you can't do that. That's cheating. Well, well what is cheating? If it's in the game, you might as well use it. Okay, so... Now, let's see what other goals we have here. There's, uh... Two locked ones. I don't know what those are all about. There's a security guard right there. Let's... Let's go talk to him. Move up. I think he's over here on this side by the pool area. Yeah, here he is. Let's see what you have to say. You youngins are all slackers. You need to learn how to work for your living. Now drop and give me all these tricks all in one combo. Okay, so we have a couple tricks here. Um, I'm gonna get the diagonal ones out of the way first. So we have an inward heel flip, a wrap around, an indie nose bone, an air walk, and a kick flip. Except that turned out it was a varial kick flip instead. How did that work? Usually it's the other way around. Okay, inward heel flip, indie nose bone, wrap around, which counts as three tricks, which I'm very glad for that, and a kick flip. Well, now that was mighty impressive. Perhaps I was too quick to judge. Good work. Thank you, Mr. Security Man. Now we're going to go back to the goal screen because our the next goals we have are locked. So I don't know what that's all about. Let's change our skater. They're probably pro goals. In fact, I can guarantee that they are pro goals. So, uh, we're going to select Lisa Steamer, because she has a pro goal in Alcatraz. That we're going to try and get done within the time limit that we have here. First, we're going to have to actually find it. Since I have no idea where it is, we might be skating around for a while. I want to say it's in the construction area, but I don't know why I think it's over there. Let's just take a take a quick glance. It might be over here. Hopefully we'll get lucky. Uh, I'm not seeing it. If I view goals, it's not going to tell me where it is either. Okay, yeah, it is. It kind of is by the... It kind of is by this area, this construction area. It's just up here. So let's see what Tava Jefferson has to say. Elisa's super gaps. Elisa's goal, Elisa's well, whatever. The goal is simple. Skate longer handrails, bigger stairs, and more massive gaps than anyone else. Not content to be known as the best female street skater in the world, she wants to be a great skater, period. Can you hang with the big boys? I see what you did there. Now I know you all about going big these days. Let's get some photos of you busting on some of these big gaps, okay? Now yo, the rod's pretty sketchy, so hit the ramps and rails to help you line up. Okay, this is basically uh, you have to do some big gaps. So gap from the guards walk ramp to the planks on the yard stairs. I wasn't I was reading the goal, I wasn't really paying attention. Where do I have to gap? From the guards walk ramp to the okay I'd like to know where the gap is that is I know that I know that's not it okay from the gap 
What on earth? Where are they taking me? Wrong way. All right, let's not go that way. From the gaps, walk... For the guards, walk around. All right, here's the walk around. To the planks on the yard stairs. I'm... I'm terribly confused. I want to say I have to go this way, but... That's telling me it's the wrong way. Okay, I'm... We're off to a terrible start, aren't we? Yeah, I have no idea where I'm going. It's telling me to go f this way, so this is, this is where I'm going to go. I want to say that's where you have to go. Except it's telling me it's the wrong way. Okay, guards walk around. I think I'm gonna have to... It says use the uh, rails and ledges to guide you, so this has to be where you have to go. I think you have to land on the planks. Although it doesn't make too much sense now, does it? Alright, I'd like to actually figure this out before anything happens. Is this what you do? Okay, finally. Now that I know what you're actually supposed to do, I'm gonna do a triple impossible. Probably not that bad, except... Lisa's super gaps are proving to be a bit of a hassle, yes. Um, especially since she doesn't seem to be getting that much air in the first place. And my stats are at max. Oh well. Moving on. I can probably just do that, but then you don't get enough distance. I'm gonna have to boneless over... I'm gonna have to boneless over everything, aren't I? Get up there. Okay. Triple. I did the triple impossible. For the boneless, I'm not making it up to the ramp. And I just retried the entire thing. So, I'm gonna have to do the entire thing over again. But I want to check something out. Alright, she's not getting very much air. Uh, am I sh positive that her stats are max? So I'd probably get more air off of a wall ride. Let's do that instead. All right, get up there. That's, that was odd, and it still didn't work. This is gonna be one of those goals, isn't it? I'm probably not going to finish it in this episode. At least not without some serious practice. I only have about three minutes left anyway, so... Why is this so difficult? Can I do that? No, because then you, know, you don't get enough distance. I have to land on the planks, and this is starting to annoy me. I'm doing two frustrating games at once. I'm playing Kaizo Mario 64, now I'm doing this game. And now they're both getting incredibly hard. Alright, make it up there, please. I'm not even... I'm just failing to even make it there, like, in general, so... Let's retry to get my time back up. I am I am positive that her stats are at max. Let's find out. Um, edit stats. Yes, her speed is all the way at max. This is basically telling me that she's a terrible skater. She wants to be one of the best, but can't even make it over this thing. Maybe it's legitimately hard to do. Okay. Finally, I think I know the secret to it. I hope I do anyway. I think you have to jump at the very top. Okay, there we go. Now that I actually know what I'm doing, Judo Madonna. Alright, finally. Now we have to do another gap, so... I don't even know where I'm going. Gap down this massive stair set from the lighthouse. Okay. There's the stair set, and I'm off. And I'm probably not going to have enough time to do this goal. Especially since I keep jumping off of that at an angle, which I don't want to do. Yeah, it's not what I want to do at all. I'm going to have to actually pull these off, aren't I? So, I'm out of time. So next time on Let's Play Tony Hawk's Pro Skater 4, I'm going to have to practice these over the weekend. We're going to do two pro goals in Alcatraz. 
and I'll actually know what I'm doing by the time we pull them off. So I'll see you next time.